Hello, all of my fabulous, fabulous friends. Today, I am doing a Shoppers Drug Mart haul. I went to Shoppers Drug Mart, spent $108 and some odd change, and I bought a whole bunch of things. So if you're interested in what I picked up in my most recent Shoppers Drug Mart haul, then you're at the right place. Here we are. I am going to do a little mini shopping uh, shoppers haul and um, yeah, just thought it would be fun. Just kind of do like a just a regular old sort of like hang with me girlfriend kind of thing. And maybe you'll see some new products that are at shoppers if you haven't gone recently. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing I want to share with you is this one. I have replenished it many, many times and will continue to do so. Um, with one caveat, but I'll tell you that at the end. So this is the Cetaphil. This is basically their gentle foaming cleanser. Uh, it's amazing if you have really sensitive and you know prone to being dry and irritated skin when using these type of cleansers, then you might want to consider this. It's a little expensive. It's like $16.79 at Shoppers Drug Mart, but currently up till September 2nd, I believe you do get two times the PC points. So if you're keeping track of your points that kind of helps but anyways this is amazing just because it's three pumps you just put it on I use it as part as a uh, part of my two-step cleansing process uh, at the beginning and the end of every day and I just love it because it's chock full of vitamins and uh, probiotics as well as it has uh, basically moisturizers in there to sort of help to maintain your pH balance in your skin which is so 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 important especially if you have sensitive skin, especially if you live in Canada, especially if we're going into fall and winter because you don't want to be drying out all that. So anyways, really awesome. I love it. If you haven't tried it, the caveat that I wanted to mention is this pump at the top. So it's just a regular foam pump, but for whatever reason, I don't know, it's like my third bottle and the pump, it, it's not broken, but it just stays in the down position. So then you have to pull it up and pump it. It's a pain. I'm actually thinking I should probably just write to the company and say, can you just fix it? Because how does Bath and Body Works have all those foaming hand soaps? And they work like without thought. So anyways, but it's the product inside that's really good. If you're looking for something that's non-irritating, non-drying, then you might want to consider this one. It's really a good one. Okay, so the next one as Number two of my two-step cleansing process is the micellar cleansing water. I have been a huge fan of the Garnier. This is their skin active micellar cleansing water. And if you're familiar or maybe not with the Garnier skin active micellar cleansing water line, they have a number of different ones. So this one happens to be the all-in-one, um, basically like normal to um, sensitive skin. They have one that's just sensitive skin. They have a blue one that's for dry skin. They have one that's infused with argan oil. If you want to use like um, water, proof mascara and things. Anyways, it's an excellent, excellent um, micellar cleansing water. I don't find it irritating to my eyes. It's a really good price point. I don't have my receipt around somehow, some way, but I'm I wanting to say it's around about $13.50 or $14 for this one. And a lot of times you can get them on sale as well. So just thought I would mention it. It goes hand in hand with my Cetaphil, but it is just a really nice micellar cleansing water. And that's all I want to say about that. Okay, let's get into a few things that I picked up because we are heading into the fall and winter. And even though we're still getting really hot temperatures, like even today, um, we will be getting into the cooler temperatures. And cooler in Canada means cold to those of you in the United States. It also means a dry cold. Um, and I'm sure that my Eastern Canadian friends will be like, oh, I'm so sick of the dry cold. But anyways, either way, it's a dry cold. And in order to sort of replenish that moisture barrier and not prevent cracking of the skin in the winter, which is something I experience all the time, you need to pick up some good moisture type products that infuse the moisture back in. So I thought I'd give this a try. This is brand new to me. This is the J.R. Watkins Hand Cream in Lemon Butter. And uh, this was $10.99. 
so eleven dollars but it's as you can see it's a nice size and uh, it is this lemon cream uh, that's what it looks like there it's just really nice it's not goopy it doesn't run it's got a nice consistency to it but as soon as you sort of massage it in you can see right away that it immediately gets absorbed into the skin it's not greasy um, there's not a lot of slip to it which is really nice because I like to just kind of put on my moisturizer when I need it and then just go off and do what I have to do so I'm really loving it um, I think it's just really nice nice at moisturizing we'll see how it goes for the rest of the fall season but uh, the fact that it's the lemon cream and it's a really good name because it actually does smell like kind of a sweet slightly citrus lemon cream on your skin yeah it's almost like completely absorbed but anyways I thought that was really cool and they of course have quite a lot of the J.R. Watkins line and all different types of body products so I thought that was fun this one is also a rebuy that I've purchased many many times literally just scraped out the last of this last year's tin like scraped it right out it was clean as clean could be girl but anyways what am I talking about I'm talking about the Burt's Bees this is the Burt's Bees lemon butter cuticle cream it is uh, also around ten eleven dollars I think ten dollars and comes in this great little travel tin and it's like a cuticle balm cream but the smell of it oh, it's just like if you are like me and you like lemon you will love this but it is just so emollient and this whole container will last you a good solid year and you just literally take it take a little out and then just work it into your cuticles they will be so happy those cuticles and you won't get any cracked skin for this the winter which is really important because I often do um, just because I am a healthcare worker and I wash my hands like a hundred times a day and so it's it's a challenge to keep those hands moisturized but anyways it is vegan it is all natural cruelty free it's Burt's Bees it's really awesome so if you're looking for something like that then definitely consider it especially especially if you like any type of lemon scent okay the next thing that I picked up um, I went in there and I passed it by many many times but I kind of just thought you know what I think it's time to just give it an honest try and I'm talking about the quo these are the reusable cotton makeup wipes you get a total of seven in here for I think it's nine dollars they are just so cute take a look at those they are the softest kind of light pink terry cloth uh, with the bamboo and the cotton they've got this cute little pocket inside so you can you know put your hands in there and you can really really get into that cleaning process they even have a tiny little loop that you can sort of like just hang up on the side if you like to kind of do a little air dry you get seven in the package for the nine dollars of course one for each day of the week my challenge is going to be halfway through making sure that I laundered the dirty ones in order to have them so it's a continuous process so I'm definitely going to work on that and uh, yeah I guess you just throw them in the wash um, just on a delicate cycle you know they don't need to be like throw them in with your bras or something they don't need to be tumble dried like you know you're doing your jeans but anyways I thought they was were really cute and they are so so soft they're really good when you get your fingers in there at just getting in all that eye makeup and just getting rid of all that trace sort of makeup residue and gunk from the day at the end when you're cleaning yourself so really really nice okay the next one that I got uh, again I didn't go in there um, I just grabbed a cart and then I started just like plunking stuff through which was crazy because that's how quickly things add up in Canada anyways but this one is another quo product and this was uh, the airbrush sponge and you know I do like to replace my makeup sponges so that I have uh, one that is always readily available that is clean and you you know when they're getting a little tattered and torn then I want to replace it I thought this was gorgeous because it looks just like a cute little beauty blender the only difference is and you're not going to be able to appreciate it it has this peach fuzz crushed velvet exterior on the sponge thus the airbrush sponge and it is so incredibly soft and it, it really sort of intrigued me I'm like I don't think I've ever seen a makeup sponge with that sort of finish to it anyways um, I just thought it would be really good you know if you're doing any sort of like 
uh, powder work, but I'm more intrigued as to how it's going to act with my uh, foundations when it's wet. Um, does that finish affect it in any way? I'm quite intrigued, to be honest. So I will be doing a little, uh, I guess, display um, or demo, I should say, on, on a YouTube uh, video coming up, and then we'll just test it out compared to the regular beauty blender. And we'll see, is one better than the other? But this was $9, which I thought was just fantastic. Beauty blenders in Canada are $28. So it's a huge big savings and it looks really nice. So I'm pretty excited for that. Okay, the last two uh, products that I bought, this one I actually went in for. I had a list and I'm like, make sure to get a new tanning mitt. So at the end of the summer, my tanning mitt was like completely toast. It was absolutely toast. And then I saw this one by Tanologist. And this is a new line, I guess, to the Shoppers Drug Mart. And of course, it's silver and it's got holographic packaging. So you know it caught this girl's attention right away. But also the price point, this huge big tanning mitt is $7.49. So I'm pretty excited to use it. And of course, it's silver and holograph. Like I said, that was a no brainer. Okay, here was the catcher save all of this whole um, shopping haul because, you know, I got things I needed, but I mean, I was not even looking for this product because as per usual, this makeup product blew up on TikTok. It blew up on Instagram. Everybody was talking about it. And as usual, this person was late to the party, but I'm just heading at the end of the actual aisle and lo and behold, ta-da! Yes, in my hands, I possess the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter that was at My Shopper's Drug Mart. It is the light to medium. They had four or five bottles. It is just this weighty glass bottle. See the safety seal. Very excited. Haven't even tried it yet because, again, I want to do a demo on uh, one of my videos coming up um, just to see how it wears and how it goes on. But I'm really excited, you guys. They say it's the dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury magic uh what is it the hollywood flawless filter which i've never purchased her her product before but i'm pretty excited because that is a cult classic that product but it's also at charlotte tilbury prices now this was expensive for elf i'm not gonna lie this was 18.99 elf is getting all bougie up in here that's for sure but i have to say i am very excited to use it if it does give that sort of ethereal sort of little glow and it doesn't slip and slide my makeup all over and last for an entire shift well, I will be all about this. So I will let you know. I will definitely do an upcoming video on that one. So there's a few goodies there. Of course, they're all to do with just kind of, you know, mostly clean, cleansing skin and also preparing for fall and wilt winter. Dare I say it? I know it sucks, but that's reality. We've all had, hopefully, we've all had a pretty good summer. There's certainly been all kinds of crazy sort of like, high temperature records broken uh, definitely in Canada and across the world and some other really tragic sort of results if you've seen the flooding in Pakistan and you know there's just been a whole lot but anyways as per usual that is the world we live in it can be very stressful but this is a haven right here between you and me that is not stressful, that is not bad news. It is just how we come together to celebrate our love of makeup and all things to do with beauty, makeup, and skincare. So if that's you and you're new to my channel, please do me a favor, smash that like button and consider hitting the subscribe button to be a part of my family here or you'll be notified of my uploads when I upload them, which is usually once a week. Until then, you guys, I hope you have an amazing Labor Day weekend and stay safe on those highways. Have fun and I will talk to you guys all next week. Bye.